Hi guys, welcome to writing the equations of parallel lines, okay? So we have kind of two major things. The first thing is that parallel lines have the same slope, okay? So we're going to be given a point and we're going to be given an equation here, okay? And so we want the equation of the line that goes through this point that's going to be parallel to this line, okay? So this equation would make its own line and we need the equation of the line parallel to that one. Okay? And then the second big thing is y equals mx plus b, slope-intercept form, what we've really been using this whole chapter. Okay? So remember that what we need to find when we have equations in slope-intercept form, what we're going to need is we're going to need what is our m and what is our b. Okay? So if the slope is the same, slope is m, so when we come over here to fill in the slope, okay, it's just going to be exactly the same as the slope of this line. We're going to look here and say what is the slope? Since this is already in y equals mx plus b form, the slope is just m, so the slope is just going to be 5. So we can already just put the m equals 5 without doing any more work than that. Okay. Now, once we get this m equals 5, once we get the slope, we don't care about this line anymore. Cross it out. Pretend like you have never seen it ever before. Now we have the slope. That's all the information that we want to get from that. Okay, so now we have our slope intercept form. Okay, so to get b, we're just going to do what we've been doing plug in x, y, and m and solve for b. Okay, so we've got y equals mx plus b. Our y is 7. Slope we just said, right? Slope is going to be 5. So we get 7 equals 5. Our x is 4, so 5 times 4, and then plus b. 5 times 4 is 20, so you get that 7 equals 20 plus b. And we subtract 20 from both sides to solve for b and end up with negative 13 equals b. Okay, so now we know our m. Now we know that b is negative 13, and so we can just write our final answer here. Okay, so we're going to have y equals 5x, and then we could say plus negative 13, but it's just a little nicer to write minus 13. And there we go. There's our answer.